Good day, Oz. Planet Australia here. Just another little thing that was nicking me off is watching the news and seeing the uh, food banks in Victoria, how they go out and feed the homeless. Over 50,000 or something like that. It's a lot of people they feed. But they seem to be able to do that uh, down in Victoria. And I was just wondering, here in New South Wales, we do we have food banks? where their buses, because they've got them buses, food bank buses out in Victoria and they go out and feed the homeless and, and that sort of thing. And uh, I was just wondering whether New South Wales has that sort of thing. And see, the thing is, since there's so many people going hungry and they can't afford food, can't afford the basic shop, as I said before, the government should be pulling their finger out of their bum all right, and supplying and funding food banks here in New South Wales for the homeless. So food banks, not charities, but food bank buses, like they've got in Victoria and that, go out all over New South Wales like they're doing in Victoria and giving the people a bit of hope so they can do a weekly shop or look at least look forward to having you know, once a week or twice a week or whatever it is, uh, when they go out to the community that they're going to get at least once a week get a decent feed, be able to afford at least the basics. So, Albanese, you and your government, fund this. There's plenty of food in Oz. I mean, you can do it. You're heartless. The Coalition, the Greens... You don't seem to be, you know, doing anything about the homeless people here and the people that are going hungry, the people that are now living in parks, can't afford to pay their electricity, can't afford to pay their rent, basically can't even afford a can of baked beans. And that's how it's getting. So give people some respect and hope. Right, because you're starting to look really bad here in New South Wales. And remember October, when voting comes around, the people are not going to forget about the winters of 2023 and the hard times of 2023 and what they've had to go through and still go through, not for a couple of months or a couple of weeks. Looks like for a year or two it's set in. So people aren't going to forget. So, you know, people might start to think, well, you know, it's always been Labor or it's always been Liberal. Well, why? Maybe the people of New South Wales, uh, you know, the nation here should think about putting an al another government in, an alternative government to Labor and Liberal. Why not? I mean, that's all it's ever been, Labor and Liberal, Labor and Liberal. I mean, you know, so how much can the Australian people suffer? They're suffering now. So, Anthony Albanese, you and your mob, okay, back the funding for these food bank buses to go out to New South Wales all over and give people hope where they can actually afford to, uh, to do a weekly shop. Because there's so many people going hungry every bloody night of the week. That's kids, mums and dads, single people, you know, old people. You don't give a rat's ass. Huh? Is that how it is? I think it is. And it's starting to see. And the Australian people aren't going to forget this, Anthony Albanese, all the suffering they go through. And plenty of nights of having nothing to eat and bellies empty, and kids crying, and people wondering, and bewildered, and psychologically fatigued, and broken without any respect, no hope. Well, that's all on you, Anthony Albanese. So please, think about it, have a conscience, you and your mob, and these food banks, food bank buses, like they got in Victoria, and they feed, as I said, 50,000 people or something like that. 
well, we can do it here in New South Wales. We can have the same. But we haven't got it for the poor, for the suffering. The people have got nothing. They can't afford food, the basics. But you and your mob, I bet you don't go hungry overnight. I bet you don't want for anything. It's a bloody shame that you feel that way, that you can turn your head and think, oh, well, nothing of it. We've done our best for Australia and come back the next day and think you're doing better for Australia when you've done nothing for Oz in the first place. Anyway, Oz, look after yourself. I'm thinking of you. My prayers go out there to all the people that are homeless and hungry and cold and freezing and suffering. My prayers go out to you. And um, look after yourself until next time. Planet Australia, I will say my codes because they're important. Respect, dignity, honour and integrity and faith. I can't say that'll serve you well because a lot of people would say, oh, bullshit. And I'm starting to wonder about that myself. But I give faith to me because if you don't have hope, you don't have anything. And I've got hope that everything will be all right for Oz eventually because we're battlers. We stick together, we unite and fight. That's what's different about Australian people. That's what gives me hope, gives me purpose as an Aussie. So until next time, Oz, look after yourself. But Anthony Albanese, you and your mob, why not? Victoria got it. Food bank buses, supply the food, fund the food, so it can go out all over New South Wales and give people respect and dignity where they can at least do a shop for them and their family. Till next time, everybody, see you later from Planet Australia.